Um, Good free throw shooting. <laughs> yeah, thank over you. there. <laughs> I mean, can you talk about that last, the layup that they gave you guys the lead, just kind of what you saw on that play? I mean, really, they just started pressing us, so we knew once they scored that bucket, they're going to try to get up and deny us. So, I mean, a quick out was needed from Taylor. So, I mean, she's a good ball handler, too, so she brought it up, and she saw me flying down the court. And I had an open lane, and I had the three were already on the other side. So, I mean, I had to make a big play because the time was running down anyway. Did you think, I mean, you had about 34, 35 seconds. Do you think about pulling it out and maybe holding for a last shot, or are you just not – even aware of that. I think 34 seconds in a basketball game is a long time. I mean, I think a good two points to get the game tied up or go ahead or go up to is good just because, I mean, you have an open lane. I mean, if you have an open shot, I mean, if you pass it up, it's kind of messing up your team. So I think that Coach Chattel has uh, belief in me that I could have made that layup. And he, I mean, he wasn't mad when I did make it. But I mean, it was a good read at the end. Coach Blair uh, just had some high praise for you just a couple minutes ago, just the difference between when you played a&M last year versus this year. How just how different do you feel now as, as a sophomore versus a freshman last year, you know, playing these high ranked teams and all that stuff again? I mean, I think as a freshman, I was thrown into it, and I didn't really know what to expect from a Big 12 game. And I think this year, I'm more confident, and I know where to read plays, and I know what the play is uh, going to develop into. So I think it's just more on a confidence level, and I worked really hard on my weaknesses from last year, and I think I just improved over the year. Lindsay, Coach Blair also had some high praise for you. He called you middle linebacker, and he was, he was really disappointed on this, that you played so much of the game that, uh, that you were out there not in foul trouble. Uh, just kind of talk about your game and maybe that middle linebacker mentality. He means that as a compliment. Yeah, yeah. No, fine. <laughs> yeah um, actually, I've worked on my game to be a lot more physical because some of the girls, they're a little bigger than me, and I mean, you just have to be stronger, you know, be solid, and you know, defense is a big part of that, and as long as you can shut people down, you know, if they don't score and you only score two points, you win. So, I don't know. I just, I feel like defense is a really big part of my game, and if I can shut them down, that just, you know, put a little star in my name. <laughs> what does this win do for the Cowgirls in terms of just your confidence going forward? I mean, I think we do already have a lot of confidence. I think this boosts it a little bit more. I mean, there's a lot more games to play. And I mean, we celebrate for the night, but then tomorrow we have to get back to work. So I think it was a good win to win against a ranked team. And I think it shows the country that we can play with ranked teams and all the great teams out there. So I think it builds our confidence just even more than it already is. Still, though, defending national champs coming in this building, just how, I guess, already hyped up were you for this game and just to come out with well, we were pretty hyped. I mean, we made sure that we were ready to go, that we were going to, you know, hit first, you know, and make sure that, you know, this is our court and we're going to defend our home. And I mean, we shoot here all the time and there's no reason why we shouldn't have won this game. They went to the full court press there in the second half. Um, seemed to give you guys a little bit of trouble there initially, but how did you guys kind of combat that and, and kind of start to <coughs> control of that, you know, as kind of the second half went along? Um, a and a team that likes to speed you up and likes likes you to play fast. So I mean, we just had to settle down and just you know make the right reads. And you know, I wasn't open, so I mean, we have other ball handlers that can bring it up, and then I'll get the ball back and set a, a play up. So I think it's just calming down and just knowing how to play basketball and just play at your play at your pace and not theirs. Anything else for the girls? Uh, you guys were 11 and 18 from the inside. Uh, what did you guys work on in practice from going from last game? We, for the post anyway, we worked a lot on just little shots because we missed a lot of those last time we were home. So that's what we, that was our main focus. And Coach Annan, you know, he got us going at some drills and we stayed in the gym extra and worked on that. So that always helps. It always does. And it showed. <laughs> How big of a win is this for you guys? I mean, it's, you know, kind of a big deal. <laughs> I mean, I think every game is a big win for us. I mean. It, I mean, it feels good to be a, um, beat the nationally ranked championship team from last year. So I think we take pride in it. We play, take pride in everything we do and believe in each other and believe in uh, the whole team and the whole f uh, faculty or staff that we have. So I think that we'll take this win and run with it, and we're going to go on to the next game. Speaking of the next game, K-State, how do you prepare for yet another like pretty highly touted team coming in this week? 
I mean, our coaches are doing, they're amazing scouts, so I mean, they're scouting that out for us, and we'll have a game plan by tomorrow, so, and just, you know, listen to what they have to say, and just do what we do every game, and try to execute our plays, and play defense. At what point do you guys think that you guys should be considered among the Big 12 elite? I mean, you're, you know, four and three, you speak two ranked teams. Should you be in that mix too, along with the, you know? I mean, as long as we believe in ourselves, and we, that is something that you just have to work for and prove. And I feel like that if we come out and we're strong, that's just gonna show. And eventually, you know, we'll get those votes and it will just prove to everyone. You know, it's not necessarily something that we just demand instantly, but work towards continuously every day in practice, putting in extra time, and you know, getting the win. Anything else? So we're 11 of 12 from the free throw line in the second half. I think that won the game. I think it did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, uh, yeah, I mean, we worked really hard about putting in free throws because we've been struggling with our free throws and just hitting them, uh, putting them down and, you know, being in the gym and just working on it, it comes down to those last big plays, those last free throws, or that last layup that you missed. So, I mean, I think the little things really do help, and I mean, it showed tonight. Thank you all. I'll be back with Coach. Thank you. Thank you.